The best part of a baseball game is before the first pitch. Everything happens before the game. Having a personal relationship with your subject is paramount. It's important not only for capturing a good photo, but for the trust, and they know that you're going to represent them in great light. I mean, I'll use an example of just recently, I was photographing um, Yuli on the Astros, and he has the pineapple haircut, you know, and I think the pineapple haircut is great. And I know he sees me, like, shooting him, and he's cool with it. I followed him into the dugout, and I said, you have the best hair in baseball. And the guys started laughing. It was Correa and Bregman and Gonzalez. And they all were laughing. And he said, tell them again. Tell them what you said. And I said, he has the best hair in baseball, hands down. He was just having fun. And he knew. And he, and he loved it. And I loved it. And they loved it. And then they wanted in. My charter photography started in high school as a hobby. Um, my high school offered a photography class. I grew up in New York City and they had a dark room as part of the class. Just watching photos come alive was, was really exciting for me. I was coaching my son's little league team um, in Healdsburg, California, and really I wasn't much of a baseball coach. I started photographing uh, his games and photographing his team. But the more I photographed baseball, the more I knew I was uh, loving it. and I. Um, took some all-star photos, Little League all-star photos, and sent them into the local newspaper. And uh, they hired me to start shooting high school sports. Then Michael Zagaris, um, the 49ers photographer, and the Oakland A's photographer was kind enough to bring me to my first Oakland A's game as his assistant. Shooting with Michael Zagaris, shooting with Z-Man, really influenced the way I photograph baseball. It's not about the action, it's behind the scenes, and it's connecting with players and crouching down, photographing these players, warming up, getting loose. And who was loose? Well, it was the Latin players. I could see right away how special it was when these band of brothers, whether they're Dominican players or Puerto Rican players, how much fun and passion they have for the game. Dominican was probably the first that stood out to me. It was very obvious to me that I needed to go there. I wanted to know why this culture, why the celebration. I would have been a different photographer today had it not been for that experience. From there, traveling around to other ballparks, you start to develop relationships, the players see you, because now I'm traveling and I've shot you know, in every ballpark. And then I'm going to Winter League, and so these players who are seeing me in Mexico, they've seen me in Puerto Rico, they've seen me in Cuba. What is she doing in the Dominican Republic? There she is again, they don't know my name, but there's the blonde lady. Here she is at Caguas in Puerto Rico. And then spring training comes and there I am again and we connect. So it gives you cred and then eventually they know you're doing a good job and representing them in a good light. Being able to document for the Baseball Hall of Fame is just right up my alley, like showing the culture, showing the behind the scenes. It's a special feeling to see my work there and it's there now with the last World Series with the Astros. Knowing that people are, are seeing these photos was an incredible experience.